Hey guys, this is Keith from the Bobcat Guy, and we're doing a segment number two in the series. And this is going to do with safety around attachments that are on the Bobcat. If you watched the first video, we did a video about approaching Bobcat, pro approaching people operating the equipment. And uh, I'll have links in this video about that one there if you missed it in the series. Pretty much with this attachment, we're looking at a stump grinder here built by Bobcat. Um, this thing will tear up huge stumps and it would do the same to anybody that gets close to it. And it wouldn't even hesitate to shred you. Um, <clears throat> so the big thing with this is that if anybody's operating this, you want to stay at least 15 to 20 feet away. Uh, for two reasons, this thing's got a swing. It will um, grab loose clothing, pull you in when it's running. The other thing is it's got wood chips flying all over the place and that's why you see a mesh back on this screen. This mesh here is to protect the operator because there's lots of flying debris. As you're doing stumps sometimes you'll get rocks in the surface area. It'll grab a rock and it'll toss it. So the big thing with attachments when they're in operation the guy in the cab is fairly safe. I just recommend not being around any of these attachments like this uh, when it's operating. Uh, 15 to 20 feet minimum to stay away to be safe because the big thing at the end of the day we all want you to go home and uh, none of this is worth being this close to the equipment when it's operating um, you don't need to be um, it's pretty much a one-man show from the operations of inside the cab and you just don't need to be out here when it's running so thanks this is the one video that we're doing on stump grinder we're going to be grabbing our auger and I'm going to show you a little bit about safety around it and some different things that can go wrong. Hey guys, so we're back here with the auger attachment and something I want to talk about right off the bat before I show you any safety issues is uh, here in Alberta we have Alberta One Call. Um, everybody has call before your dig in your different provinces and in the U.S. in your different states. Make sure you guys do your due diligence and get that stuff done so you know where you're working. You're not augering into buried utilities because um, that's going to be the biggest thing on this that's going to either kill the operator or the person that's helping the operator. So after you have that done and you know your area is clear to dig, check your rules and regulations from your own state province on how far away you can auger from those lines. Here in Alberta it is a meter uh, from most lines and could be up to six meters from high pressure lines depending on what's underground when it's marked. Here when he's augering and of course we're not gonna auger here because I haven't done my first calls And it's just kind of a demonstration here. So um, I have no idea what's back here. So that's as far as it's gonna go into the ground When you're working around equipment like this, of course, you're always gonna be back to Video number one on eye contact with the operator. And there'll be links in this video for that But you want to make sure that you're watching him at all times and that he is watching you plus the equipment um, he's going to be on the trigger at all times, so if something happens, he can shut the motor off right away. Uh, the big thing here is you don't want to be standing too close because this can come down and, and hit you. Um, you don't want to be around this when it's spinning. I would say on a normal circumstances, your 10-foot rule would be good here to just stand back. Sometimes when they're augering, you'll have a guy with a shovel. Make sure cleaning the dirt away from the hole. Just make sure you're standing far enough away. So there's no way it can come out and work beside it but in my personal opinion let him do the augering let him lift it up let him back up to clean the auger away clean the dirt away do not be cleaning dirt when the auger is moving it's just one more thing that could grab your shovel could hit you in the face could do whatever the other thing you want to make sure you're doing and i'm just talking from experience here we uh we were out on a job and the first call company came and marked all the lines and we we're putting in trailer pads and normally Mike who's in the Bobcat he wasn't with me that day he's usually got a cigarette in his mouth and this is another thing I would say is don't have anybody smoking in the area for this reason alone uh, we we're augering and we we're clear way away from the markings and we went through a gas line and gas spewed up through the hole it opened the hole probably about eight inches bigger 
than what we didn't start a fire, didn't start on, but it scared the living heck out of me. But hypothetically, if Mike would have been there, we could have started a fire because not saying that day he would have, but anybody with a smoke in their hand probably would have ignited it because it went all over the place. Luckily, nothing happened. We we're safe. Uh, that's just one instance where it could have turned bad if somebody in the group that was working in the area had a cigarette going would easily have made that situation worse and maybe killed some people. Uh, so that's one thing I would recommend if you're doing any augering, excavating, anything like that. Uh, make sure you're not smoking. Um, also make sure you're not standing too close because if he hits electrical for some reason, like back to the same thing again, you're only good as your first calls. If he hits electrical, he's someone insulated with the tires. The guy standing next to him is not. And that will jump across and electrocute the guy next to him if you hit a high enough voltage. So back to the thing again, if you can help it, stay far enough away to be safe when a guy's augering or excavating underground areas. Theoretically, you shouldn't be hitting anything if you did your due diligence, but back to that story again, they missed a gas line and we hit it dead center. It, stuff does happen so that if you're away from the equipment, you're just that much safer. So I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with me. There's not a whole lot more safety issues to this. The big thing is just stay away from it if you can when he's augering. The guy in the cab again, uh, the way Bobcat sets these equipment up is they're fairly safe inside the equipment. The people outside um, are not. And the same thing about walking around the equipment. I'll have a link up here in the corner. Uh, check out that first video on how to approach a Bobcat and the operator. Uh, but it'll be in that video. But the best thing to do is keep eyesight and when they're augering, stay so many feet away uh, just to protect yourself if there is accidental lines that were missed and you did hit them. Because the whole thing is, is about going home safe and we want everybody to go home at the end of the day. Thanks for watching. Bobcat, I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, I'd like to thank all my new and old subscribers. And I also want to give a shout out to Channel 33 with Spongy. He was the guy that helped me film all these videos today. Um, they'll be all coming out on different different uh, dates, but I'll have his uh, channel at the end of all these videos. You guys can check him out. He's a great friend and he does a lot of help around the house towards helping me film. And it's nice having an extra guy around that does this that's a little more professional than me. How's it going folks? Uh, you might see on the cutting room floor a couple of little videos that I did that Keith might not even know about. Well we're going to have the cutting room floor is going to be full because there was a lot of screw ups on all these videos me chatting when I shouldn't have been. So check out the cutting room floor on the end of all these videos. It's going to be full and probably the funnest part of the video. You guys have a great day. Make sure you get home safe. That's all what these videos are about. Thanks guys. folks stay tuned the bobcat guys coming right back at you how to use safety tips here with the bobcat and an auger because you know you don't want to drill into those pesky friggin gas lines that could cause you a lot of grief so there you have it folks safety with an auger 101 with Keith the bobcat guy what did you guys think I thought it was very informative and I'm glad you guys came out to um, watch this demonstration of safety with uh, Keith the Bobcat guy. I really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, take care and have yourselves a great week.